In this video, we're going to look at how we can find the equation of a line for when we are given the line in the form of a graph. So we have a graphical visual representation of your line and then how we actually find your line. So uh, remember the general equation of your line is y equals mx plus c. So if you can find the gradient and you can find c, which is the line, the y-intercept, then you can easily write down the equation of your line. Okay, when we're doing this, the nice thing to do is to pick nice points. So what I mean by nice points is points on your line where your graph is cutting, uh, going through a coordinate which has got integer values, so whole number values. So here's a nice point to use, because this is a point uh, two, uh, sorry, zero two, and I'm gonna pick this one up uh, here, is another nice one to use, because uh, this is a point, and this is gonna be the point which is two. Eight. So I've got those two points to use uh, to find both my gradient and my intercept. We will find the gradient first. How you find your gradient, you can just draw a wee right angle triangle. So continue that on along with the wee dashes. Use a ruler. I'm not using a ruler here, but you could see you would use a ruler. And remember what the gradient is. We'll do the working out over here. The gradient is equal to the y difference over x difference. But graphically, when you're doing it graphically in this form, it's probably easier to say rise over run. So how much you go up divided by how much you go across. Now just be careful with the scale. Remember this is from here to here. That's from uh, 2 to 3, and 3 to 4 and so on. So it's not too bad in this one. It's okay. It's pretty easy. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my vertical change is 6. My horizontal, this has gone from 0 to 2. So this is 1, 2. And when you do that out, you get 3. So that's what we have found so far is we find m, your gradient. So we'll just write that on as m is equal to 3. The next thing for us to find is our c, our y-intercept. Now the y-intercept, and not always, you'll not always be able to read it off directly from the graph, but quite often you will, and in this case you can. So the y-intercept is just where it crosses, uh, just where it crosses the, the y-axis. So your line crosses at the point 2. So that's why we can get your c is equal to 2. So your answer... For this one, your your graph here is y is equal to 3x plus 2. So it has a had a gradient of had a gradient of 3 and it had an intercept of 2. In our second example here, example B, same idea, we're going to find our general equation of your line, remember, is y equals mx plus c. So you've got to find your gradient and you've got to find your intercept. Um, now I'm just going to use a point over here. I'm going to use uh, this point. It's because it's going through a nice coordinate here. And I'm going to use this point as well. It's going through a nice coordinate here. Just to do explain my gradient. Again, draw your wee right angle triangle. How much I've gone uh, my rise in? So my rise really is minus 3 because I've gone down. And my run is 3, again, because I've gone across. So my gradient, I'll work out over here. My gradient is equal to my rise over run. So in this case, minus 3 over 3. And minus 3 divided by 3 is minus 1. My intercept is very easy. Again, my intercept is just where it crosses the y-axis. So my intercept is c is equal to 2. So my answer, uh, don't take this down, please. This is just going to be me writing it in a clumsy way, and then we'll tidy it up. So the clumsy way of writing up my gradient would be minus 1x plus 2. But that's a clumsy way. You don't need that minus 1. You can just write that as minus x plus 2. So my Equation my line is y is equal to minus x plus 2. Okay, example C. So this one is again is a, a negative gradient one. These are the ones people go wrong in. So I'm just going to pick this point up here. Again, why, uh, just to run through that again, why I picked that point instead of this point? Uh, this point up here, it's going through a nice coordinate. It's got a nice coordinate, minus 4, whatever that is, minus 4, 6, whereas this one, can't really read off what that x value is. You can read off the y value, okay, but can't really read off the x value. So make life easy for yourself. Pick a coordinate which is a nice coordinate. So don't be picking an awkward coordinate. It's entirely up to you to, uh, what coordinates you pick. 
So if you've picked an awkward, awkward uh, coordinate, that's on you. But I would just pick a nice one and you know where you are. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick this as my, one of my coordinates. And I'm going to pick this one as one of my other coordinates. Uh, you could do this lots and lots of other, other ways. Uh, okay, so again, I'm going to just do my right angle triangle, fill it in. And what I have done, just check the scale. It is from four up to six is two boxes. So one unit, one box. Happy days, that's easy enough. I've gone one, two, three, four, five, six down. So that's going to be minus, minus six. And I've gone one, two across. So that is two. So my gradient, do the working out over here. My gradient, remember, is just equal to rise divided by run. So in this case, minus six divided by two which works out to be minus three. My intercept, and again, you can see my intercept is down here. So my intercept is just, and this would have been minus five. It's between minus four and minus six on my axes, and it's minus five. So my answer, y is equal to minus three x minus five is the equation of this particular straight line. Okay, just to sum up what we've done in this video then, uh, we've been given a, a graph, uh, an equation of a line, a graph with a line on it, I should say, and we've been able to find the gradient and the intercept using rise over run to find the gradient, and then just by looking and seeing where it crosses the y-axis to find the intercept, and then because we know the general equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c, you can fill in your gradient and you can fill in your intercept, and there you have it, the general equation of, or the equation of that particular straight line.